welcome back to my channel on today's video I'm actually going to be doing a natural kind of summer everyday look just because I feel like it's been really getting hot here in South Texas and during these days I don't like to wear a lot of makeup just because I feel like during the day I'll get like greasy or I'll just like start sweating and I feel like my makeup real heavy so I really don't like to do a lot on my eyes and on my face I like to go like a little bit more natural I want to say because for some of you it may not be natural but for me it is so I'm gonna be showing you guys that yeah let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna start by priming my skin I'm gonna be using the Smashbox primer water as I always use and also I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime primer and this is a blur and redness control this is gonna blur your pores and it's gonna control redness if you have redness like I do around my cheek area and nose so I think I'm gonna start with my face first just because I'm not gonna do a lot on my eyes it's gonna be like super natural so for foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild foundation. I've been mixing these two colors just because I feel like my face has gotten lighter for some reason. So I'm going to mix... I used to use the Brown Beige, but I just feel like it's been a little bit too dark recently. So I'm going to mix a little bit of the Soft Beige on it, just a little bit, so I can make it a little bit lighter this is the thing with foundations it's so hard to find a foundation that actually matches your skin tone because I don't know about you all but for me I feel like I always need to buy two foundations because I never find my matching shade and I'm just gonna be applying it with my damp beauty blender Okay, so now that my foundation is on for some reason I smell the foundation I don't think I smelled this when I first got this and I've been using this for a while I don't remember smelling it that strong for some reason it's like I'm smelling the foundation it's kind of weird and also I have a little bit of I'm breaking out a little bit right here so I can see like the dryness like patchiness but I'm not going anywhere so I don't mind usually I would just like go and exfoliate like dry skin and then put on my foundation but since I'm not going anywhere it's okay because I'm not going anywhere so now for concealer I'm going to be using also the wet n wild concealer and this is in the shade light medium beige just because I don't want a lot of coverage I usually use the tart one but this one has a lot of coverage but I don't need that right now And then I am going to bake under my eye just because I feel like with this heat, um, I feel like my under eye will crease faster. So I am going to be baking my face with the translucent powder. So now for my all over face powder, I'm going to be using, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I'm going to be using the MAC Mineral Light Skin Finish in the shade medium. I haven't used this in a while, so I just thought I might use it right now. I really like this powder. I don't know why I stopped using it. Maybe because I was just setting my face with a translucent one, but I really like this powder. Okay, now I'm just going to dust away this baking that I did because, I mean, I do want to bake, but not like a lot. So, I'm just going to be removing it. 
And then for my bronzer, I'm going to use this. This is the MAC Studio Sculpt Defining Powder. And this is a, defining, a sculpting defining powder. You can use it all over your face, but I like to use this as a bronzer. And this is in the shade Dark. It just gives like the perfect warmth to your skin. I think you can also use this as a contour, but I do find that this has a little bit of like glitter on it. So I would usually not use this for contour, but if you like um, contouring with glittery stuff, you could. So now I'm gonna move on, I think, to my eyes and then I'll just finish my rest of the face later on. So for my eyes, I'm gonna do something real natural and I wanna go kind of like in the pink shades, like light pinks. So I am going to be using the Nudie Patootie just because this one has a very pretty pink shade right here. So I'm gonna be using the shade Bare. And I'm just going to be applying this on my crease. Um, when I put on my concealer, I did prime my eyes when I was doing my concealer and I already set it. So it's already ready to go. So I'm just going to be applying this on my crease. And then just to make it a little bit darker, to give it a little bit of definition, I'm going to be using Butt Naked, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to be applying that under that shade just to give it a little bit more of definition. I'm sorry you guys can hear a noise but that's the dryer and the washing machine. Okay so now for my lid I'm going to be using the shade Topless right here. It's a very shiny uh, sparkly pink. So with my finger, I'm going to be applying that on my lid. Ooh, this is so pretty. You can apply this also with a synthetic brush, but I mentioned before that I lost my synthetic black brush. I have no idea where it is. I don't know where it went. I can't find it anywhere. And I haven't bought one so I do have another flat one that I was using but I feel like they don't grab as much as my finger does so I just started using my finger okay so now for my inner corner I'm gonna be using the ColourPop luster dust these are highlighters but you can also use them as eyeshadows or anything you want and this is in the shade sugar trap it has a little bit of pink on it so this is what it looks like. It has a sifter. That's a good thing because I know some of them don't have, I know like similar products like this don't have sifters and it just goes all over the place and it's such a mess. So to grab that, I'm going to be using this tiny dose of color brush that came in one of the um, dose of colors eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be grabbing this and what I want to do is I want to wet it just because I want to, I wanted to grab a lot of um, product. So I'm going to wet it. You can use any Fix Plus, um, any setting spray, any kind of stuff just to wet it. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. And I'm going to apply this on the inner part of my eye. And then just blend it towards the lid. So I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and eyelashes off camera and I'll be right back to finish the rest of my eyes and face. Okay, so now that I have my eyelashes and my eyebrows, I'm going to continue doing my under eye. So I'm going to basically use the same shade that I use on my crease, like the darker one. The shade Butt Naked with a flat definer brush. This is a Morphe M432. I'm just going to be lining my under eye with this and then with a pencil brush I'm going to be grabbing the shade bare which was that first pinkish shade that I used and just above this under the eye just so I can blend that other shade I've been using this palette a lot I really like all the shades in here 
I yet have to try all the shades because there's a bunch of pretty shades but I yet need to try all the shades in here but they are so pretty so for my eyeliner I'm just gonna be using as always the Sephora Coal Liner in the shade Cocoa and for my mascara I'm using the Roller Lash by Benefit just gonna apply a little bit on my fake lashes and on my bottom lashes So moving on to my face, I'm going to be contouring with the Anastasia Contour Kit. I feel like my baby hairs are all over the place. I don't know what to do about them. If you guys know anything to hold these baby hairs together because I've tried putting gel spray and everything and they just won't stick like it's just like these pieces right here like I hate them sometimes I think of just like cutting them but I'm gonna look bald so I don't so now for my blush I'm gonna be using from this Morphe palette this is the 8W palette I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here which is gold and you literally just want to like tap it because these are so pigmented so I'm just gonna add a little bit here and then I'm gonna add witty which is this one right here it has a little bit of shimmer I'm gonna add it on top of this and for my highlighter I'm gonna be using the Maybelline master chrome highlighter and this is in the shade molten rose gold it's like a rose gold color so i'm going to be applying that because i mean we are having like a pink situation here so i'm going to be adding this on my cheeks oh that is so pretty a little bit on the tip of my nose cupid's bow and i want to add a little bit over here and I also want to add a little bit of this on my inner corner, even though I already have a little bit there, but I just want to add a little bit of more. And under the brow bone. Okay, so moving on. I'm going to set my face first before I apply my lipstick. I can just bathe in this. It smells so good and it feels so refreshing. For lip liner, I'm going to be using this Palladio lip liner in the shade Coral. And for my lipstick, I'm going to be using the MAC lipstick in the shade Vegas Volt. It's like a pinkish orangey shade so this is the final result um it does look fresh it looks so pretty i mean i think it looks pretty of course i did it so of course i'm gonna think that it looks pretty but yeah this is the final result it looks so fresh and i hope you guys enjoyed this video before you leave please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already also hit that notification bell to get notified when i upload videos so you won't miss any videos that i upload and also please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like this video and yeah thank you so much for watching and until next time i will see you guys soon bye